So at the beginning of the year, there was controversy around a principal saying some not so nice things about his black students. You know, I, I seriously don't understand why I have to constantly put up with these here every day. Between these ungrateful black kids who can't test their way out of a paper bag, or these teachers who don't get it, how hard is it to get these students to meet their grade level expectations? Lawrence and Ravenel should have never been hired. And don't let me get started on DJ. I'm going to drag his black ass out of here one way or another. I'm going to get something to stick. I'm just so sick of the inadequacies of these people. And if I have to get one more complaint from one more Jew in this community, I'm going to join the other side. And of course, people heard that, realized that the principal was white, and said, oh my God, how could anybody say this about the next generation of black youth? And people got mad, there were calls for the person to be fired, and we didn't really hear much after that. Up until a few short hours ago, when I had to find out that a Maryland school athletic director was arrested at BWI Marshall Airport after it was discovered that he had allegedly spread an AI-generated impersonation of the Pikesville High School principal that framed the principal principal as being racist. Dazon Darian, terrible name, 31 years old, is looking at many charges due to deep fake, including stalking, theft, disruption of school operations, and retaliation against a witness. The police investigation began in January when a voice recording alleged to be the school principal, Eric Icewert, began making the rounds. Iceworth was temporarily removed from his position as the head of the school and the school received many phone calls and social media comments and the messages over the recording after it was spread on social media. The police said that they have conclusive evidence that Darian was the one who made the recordings and that he was trying to retaliate against Iceworth who was investigating Darian's alleged misuse of school funds because of of course, once somebody recognizes that you're having a little bit too much money and you're not using it the way we hired you to do, of course, the most appropriate thing to do is to come up with an AI-generated speech against your colleague and make it so racist, it's downright fucking confusing. Iceworth told officers that he thought the deep fake was Darren's work. After the recording came out, BLM activist DeRay Mixon slammed Iceworth, saying that he had been his social studies teacher and that he should be fired right away. He was one of the many who fell for the hoax. Eric Iceworth was my social studies teacher and then the SGA advisor at Cantonsville High School and I am in no way surprised by his comments in this recording. He should be fired immediately and his Maryland teaching and administrator licenses should be permanently revoked because of course Somebody who probably flunked out of a couple classes and probably got detention in school is mad about that and they've still held on to that for all these years. So once something comes up that's just a little bit bad for that person, of course you're going to start championing him to be fired. This is the first of its kind case, said Baltimore County State's Attorney Scott Schellenberger great name. He said that while the charge of disrupting school activities is only six months, it is important to take a broader look at how this technology can be used and abused to harm other people. Duh, were y'all not here a couple months ago when these dudes was making AI porn of Taylor Swift? Have y'all not seen all of the negative that could come out of this in situations where you won't really be certain of if it's real or if it's a bunch of bullshit? Yes, I know the AI SpongeBob songs are fantastic, but people gotta start understanding. If you got an axe to grind with somebody, they could potentially use some AI to fuck your life up. And because a lot of people don't take time to consider AI could be a factor that we must bring to the conversation nowadays, you're gonna have dumb fucks saying, you should be fired because my ears hurt from all your bigotry and racism that you spewed upon me, and how dare you because you gave me detention back in 2008. It's troubling that somebody felt so confident in doing something like this, and it took great lengths to try to find out if this was real or not, come to find out that the principal was saying it was all AI, probably nobody believed him, and thankfully they got the proof or the evidence necessary to book this motherfucker and get him on some charges of trying to frame somebody and make them into a bad guy when in reality they're not and to end this i'll just say this 
I understand a lot of you don't like working. You wake up, you brush your mouth, you go and you commute, and you walk, you take the bus, and the last thing you want to deal with is your snot-nosed ass fucking coworkers. I understand that. It's annoying. You don't want to be around them. But I would hearken. If it's that bad that you got to make AI deep fakes of them saying racist things to get them off your back for arguably more likely than not legitimate criticism of your work ethic, you probably need to find another job. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to clock out.